What's up guys? It is my favorite time of year in Sweden. Well, actually it's my favorite time of year in any country. I'm a summer guy. I love sunshine. I love long days. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to talk about my top five favorite things about summertime in Sweden. So this first one is pretty obvious, I've talked about it in other videos, but it's still something that never ceases to amaze me. It is the long summer nights that they have here in Sweden. Uh, and most of the places that I hang out in Sweden being Norrköping and Stockholm, they usually have uh, the sun setting on the longest day of the year, somewhere around midnight with that sun coming up at 3 a.m. in the morning. But if you go up to the north of Sweden, they will have days of complete bright sunshine uh, and then of course on the flip side in the winter they have days of complete darkness i've never been to the north of sweden but i do want to experience that at some point but i absolutely love the long summer days that i've experienced here in the north shopping stockholm area the second thing i love about swedish summer are all of the lakes and different places there are to go swimming here in sweden now in the north shopping area we were able to find this just crystal clear blue water lake that was actually warm enough for me to swim. I hate cold water, uh, but I was able to swim in there. There was a cool little rope swing and everything. Uh, absolutely love that. And then here in Stockholm, we also found some cool places to go swimming. And if you just look at the map of Sweden, there are so many lakes in this country. It's absolutely mind blowing. And in the summertime, it's really, really cool. All the Swedes love to go out, especially when it's hot like right now. I'm in here just like sweating in this house. It is hot to be inside. They don't have air conditioning in a lot of houses here in Sweden because it's not typically this hot like it has been this summer. That is one thing I miss is that air conditioning that we had in our house in America. Uh, but with that being said, I think that's one reason why you gotta go outside and you gotta take a dip into some of those watering holes here in Sweden to cool off and it's pretty tough to beat on a hot summer day taking a jump into some nice Swedish water. I absolutely love that. The third thing I love about Swedish summer are all the islands and different things that they have to experience here in Sweden. Up here in Stockholm, they've got the Stockholm Archipelago. I know I always mispronounce that word wrong, even in English, so forgive me. Uh, but in Swedish, it's the Stockholm Sjörgård. Uh, and it's really, really amazing. It's completely just stunningly beautiful. It actually reminds me a lot of the Pacific Northwest in America where I'm from. My grandparents now actually live full time on an island in the San Juan Islands. They live on Lopez Island full time now. And the scenery just looks very, very similar to what I grew up with. So uh, it's very, very beautiful and special to me to be spending time uh, in the Stockholm Archipelago. And one of the things that's great about the Stockholm Archipelago is it's so close to Stockholm. Growing up from Portland, it would take me like six hours to go visit my grandparents on Lopez Island. I've got to drive all the way through the state of Washington, five hours, and then take an hour long boat ride. And plus you have to be in line early to be able to catch the boat and those sorts of things. Uh, but here in Stockholm, it's just a quick half an hour drive and you are basically at the archipelago with tons of beautiful islands. Uh, I absolutely love it. My girlfriend's family has a house uh, up on those islands and then we've got some other friends and they invited me out for a weekend, an amazing weekend. I've been really, really lucky to soak up and experience all that beauty that is just right outside of Stockholm. The fourth thing that is awesome about Swedish summer is all of the time off that Swedes get. In America, people usually only get about two weeks of vacation. Uh, in Sweden, that's about five. So in July, everything pretty much can shut down in the summer. It can suck if you actually want to get something done right away. Uh, but it's really, really nice on the flip side because most Swedes are able to enjoy the most beautiful time of the year here in Sweden, which is really, really cool. In America, it was never really a huge deal for me going into teaching. I mean, teachers are the envy in America getting summers off where most people have to work pretty much year round. But in Sweden, it's pretty much the norm for everybody having those five weeks of vacation to get out, relax, and enjoy some of the amazing summer vibes that Sweden has to offer. And the last and best reason for me enjoying this Swedish summer so much are the people and the friends that I have here in Sweden. I've got an amazing group of friends in Sweden and summer would not be the same without the people that I've met along the way. 
Uh, it's just been so awesome. I feel like even though Swedes can be tough to meet and get to know at first, once you get to know them, they are the kinds of people that will be friends for life. The people that I've met here, uh, we've just connected so well and getting to spend time with them, especially my friend group up here in the Stockholm area, uh, it's just like every day is something fun. We're either going out into the city, you know, going to concerts, going and doing all these things. And I did the math when I stopped school, when our school year ended in June, I was only alone in North Shoping from then until now. We're in mid July now. I was only at home alone in North Shoping two days. The rest of the time, we've either had visitors coming to visit us down in North Shoping, or I've been up here in Stockholm, either crashing at friends' places or staying at my girlfriend's parents' house. Uh, and it's just so nice. That's what, how I want to live my life, just constantly surrounded by awesome people, doing fun things. And that's why this summer has been one that I will never forget. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing about Swedish summer? Uh, that has been my take on it. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do that because I release a ton of Swedish content. I've got a ton of more, just a phone list of ideas of cool stuff to make for you guys. So be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, do all that stuff you guys like to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you've made it this far all the way to the end of this video, that is awesome. Now go ahead and check out my content on Instagram. I've got a couple of IGTV videos up as well as an edit from the weekend I had with my friends in the Starcom Archipelago and I'd love to share that with you guys. So go ahead and check that out over there and I'll see you. I've got the link in the description for that as well.